in this lesson, we are going to talk about many-to-many -many relationships. We've talked about has many and belongs to in the case of a post and a category. A post can belong to only one category, but a category can have many different posts. In this case, a post can have many different tags and a tag can belong to many different posts, which means that a many-to-many -many relationship. Now, how do we set that up? The first thing is to create a migration because we're going to have a separate table to store the relationship data. So I'm just going to make a migration and this is going to be called create post tag table. Notice the name of the table. You have to follow the convention. The convention is if you're trying to set up a many to many relationship between a post and a tag, you need to first of all, create the name of the table in singular. So post in singular and tag in singular. Secondly, you need to organize them in alphabetical order. In this case, post comes before tag. So we have post tag and singular only. And then I'm going to call this table. And then I'm just going to set table equals post underscore tag. Great. Migration has been created. So if we go to our database migrations, we have a migration right there. So you can see the name of the table is post underscore tag. That is the convention we are following. And now we need to fill in the fields for the migration. But let's make our lives easier, shall we? Lavo can automatically fill those in for us. So this is what we're going to do. We're not going to pass the flag for post tag. And Lavo will automatically see this create and it's going to generate it for us. Great. So if we check this out now, great. You can see Lavo did its job. Awesome. So this is our post tag table. This is our post tag table. We are going to have two fields. So we're going to have an integer field. This is going to be for the post. So this is going to be post ID. And we're going to have another one integer for the tag ID. So here's how it's going to work. If we want a post to be associated to a tag, we are going to create a new row into the post tag table. And we're going to place the ID of the post here and the tag ID here, which means that we've associated a specific post and a specific tag. And if we want to associate one post with 10 different tags, then we're going to have 10 different rows with the post of that ID and the tag ID for all those 10 different tags. Okay. Don't worry. When we do this practically, you're going to understand. So now that we are done with our database and remember the convention, this is post singular, then underscore ID. This is tag singular, then underscore ID. It's possible to modify this convention in your model, but let's not focus too much on that. The next step is to go to our post model and define a relationship. So I'm just going to say public function and remember it's plural because it's more than one. So tags. So we're going to return this belongs to many tag class. Okay. So this is the first part of the relationship. The second part is to define a relationship with the post table. So we're going to say public function post, and this is going to return the same thing. This belongs to many post class because it's a many to many, right? A post can have many tags, a tag can have many posts, a post can belong to many tags, a tag can belong to many posts, exactly the same thing. Awesome. So now that we have this set up, what we're going to do is we are going to go to our form and make sure that a user who is trying to create a post can select tags for a specific post. And then we are going to go to our controller and make sure that we save those tags. Okay. So let me migrate. So add migrate, we've migrated this table. Then I'm going to go to my create.blade.php for post right here. And then right after we have the categories, which is here, we're going to include our tags field right here. So I'm going to have a label for tags, tags. Okay. Then I'm going to have a select dot form control, and this is going to be called tags id tags this is going to be tags so what we want to have here is a list of tags because remember this is a multi select so we're going to have multiple and then we're going to have a list of options that the user can select so let's go to our tags controller 
or actually our post controller and make sure we actually return this view with the list of tags. So here you can see with the create, we are returning the list of categories. We are also going to return the list of tags. So we're going to say with tags, tag all. Okay. And then we're also going to come to the edit and make sure we also add that. So with tag, tags, tag all. And make sure you use tag at the top of the file. So use app slash tag. Awesome. So now if we come right to the browser, visit post, click on add post, we have an error. Just a second. Yeah, this is supposed to be capital. Sorry about that. Refresh. Awesome. So down here, it's an empty select. So we need to populate the values of that field. So I'm just going to come here and say for each tags as tag and for each, I'm just going to have an option value is going to be the tag ID and the option is going to be the name of the tag. So tag name like that. Awesome. But since the tag is not compulsory, we are only going to display this select if there are tags. So I'm just going to say if tags count is greater than zero, then display this and if awesome. So here's our tag selector right here. So if I refresh, we can see that tax doesn't show. So yeah, it shows the label as you can see, but we don't want that label to show up. Let me just cut this out, paste it right here. Make sure that our if statement is on the whole form group. Move the end if right down to the bottom like that. This should be good. Refresh. Awesome. So you can see if there are no tags, it doesn't show up at all. So let's go ahead and add a tag. I'm just going to add a new tag. I'm just going to call this WordPress. Awesome. So now that we have a tag, if we go to the post, add post, you can see we have WordPress right there. So let's add a couple of tags. If I add Laravel, add Vue.js, add ES6. Great. Now I can go to my post, add a post, and you can see a list of tags that I can select right there. So now when we submit this data, let me show you the form in which we receive the data on the server side. I'm just going to go to my post controller and right in my store method i'm going to die dump request all like this okay so follow me here i'm gonna fill in all of this data with dummy data okay just so we can submit the form paste 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 upload an image select web development and i'm gonna select three of them i'll create post and now you can see the data we have. Now we have only one tag and that's strange, right? Because we need to have a lot of them in an array. And the reason for this is because we need to make sure the name actually has an array syntax. Let me show you. So right here, you can see the name is tags. We're just going to put square brackets right here so that it automatically knows it's an array. So I'll come back, refresh, and I'll place in the title description content select a date select an image select web development and select three of them create post and great you can see now our tax is an array of ids so we have tax two three and four the last step is to associate our post with these tags okay so let's go ahead to the controller which is right here and instead of die dumping, we're just going to come right here and get the post that was newly created. So post create is going to return to us the newly created post. And here, we're just going to check if request tags, then we're just going to say post tags and we'll call a function called attach. And this attach is because of the belongs to many relationship. And here, we're just going to pass in request tags okay so this is going to attach the tags that were selected on the front end 
with the post that was newly created. So if we refresh this right now, continue, you can see we have post created successfully. Okay. Now let's go to our database. I'm just going to refresh my database right here. And if you check out the post tag table, you're going to see three records post ID tag ID right there. Okay. And you can see the post ID is two. This is the newly created post and the tag ID is two for this one. We have two and we have three. We have two and we have four because three tags have been associated to one post. Okay. And if you check out the tax table, there we have our tax right there. Okay. Now, if we go to the tax list, which is index.blade.php for tax right here, what we could do is instead of zero here, we could do tag post count. Okay. So if we come now, go to tags, you can see WordPress, Lavo, and Vue.js have been associated to one post each. Isn't that awesome? Okay. So if we come to post, you can see category is this. We could go ahead and display the tags, but we don't have space for that. All right. So this is a belongs to relationship. The reason why I opened up the documentation is to show you the part of the documentation that you need to visit. So make sure you just select eloquent relationships right here. And then you want to scroll down to many to many, and then you read exactly how you can customize the behavior and how you can use it. Okay. So a post has many tags and a tag has many posts. So that's a many to many relationship. Okay. So let's just go through what you need to remember. First, we have a migration. This migration probably does not need timestamps unless we manually populate it, but we need the post ID and the tag ID right there. Okay. Then second, we define a belongs to many relationship for our models, just like we did right here. And then this attach function is a very important function. Okay. Because this is a function that we use to associate a tag and a post. Now, one last thing before I end the lesson, I just remembered that we need to actually have the update of post, right? So let's go to the create and then we need to check if a tag is associated with a post. And then if it is, then we need it selected right here. So how do we check if a tag is associated with a post? Remember here we can have a list of posts. So I'm just going to have an if statement. So if post tags to array, and this is what I'm doing. I'm getting all the tags, converting them to an array because the database actually returns them as collections. And I'm going to check if in array. So if in array, then I'll pass in the tag ID, then post tags to array. And it means that it is one of the options I'm just going to have selected right there. If it's in the array, it means that it's associated to this post. Okay. And then if it is, then we're just going to have selected, but we only want to do this check if we are editing. So I'm just going to have, if is set post and if, and then I'm just going to paste it right here. If in array tag ID post tags to array. Okay. So now let's check what happens if we try to edit. And if we try to edit, let's just have a look at that to see exactly what went wrong. It looks like none of them were selected. Okay. So let's find out exactly why we have tag ID. We have post tags to array. Let's just go to the post controller and we're going to debug this with a die dump. So in here, in the edit method, I'm just going to die dump post tags to array. Okay. So if I come here, refresh. Okay. So it looks like it gives us an array of arrays and that's the reason why it returned false, right? But what we want is an array of IDs only. So what we want to do is we want to pluck. There's a pluck function on collections and I'm just going to pluck the ID and great. You can see we have only the IDs right there. Okay. So you have to pluck out the ID from the tax because the tax is like an, a collection of objects. So you pluck out only the ID and then you change it to an array. Okay. So that's my bad. And this is a lot 
of new stuff, right? But Lava collections are really powerful. They have a pluck function. So let me show you what I'm going to do. I'm just going to delete this die dump, go to the post, and I'm just going to create a function called hashtag, and it's going to take in a tag ID, and it's simply going to return in array tag ID of this tags pluck ID to array. Okay, so this is a function that checks if a post has tag. So check if post has a tag. So how do we use this function? In our blade view, we're just going to say if post has tag, and then we'll pass in tag ID right there. Okay, so if we come back to our view, refresh, check down here, you can see three of them are selected. Okay, that's awesome. That's exactly what we need. Okay, so you can see selected, selected, selected. Awesome. So the user can go ahead and change what he wants. And if the user selects one or two of them without selecting one that he selected before, what we want to do is handle this on the server side. This is the last thing, guys. So we're going to come to our updates. And then we're going to check if post tags. So if request tags. So if there were tags, then we're just going to do post tags and then we'll call a sync method and this sync method is a helpful method for many to many relationships and what it's going to do is it's just going to check it's just going to check the request tags from the form if these tags were already attached to this post then it's just going to leave them at that but if there are any tags from the form that were not attached then it's going to attach them but then those that were not selected it's going to detach them okay let me show you what this is going to do so i'm going to come here and i'm going to select es6 and vjs without selecting these two i'm going to click on update and great we have post successfully updated now if we come to tags you can see that vjs and es6 are the ones that now have post these ones do not because it has been synced so that's the use of the sync function. Okay. So if I come to my database, just show you that refresh, visit the post stack table. You can see we have just two right there and it's four and five. All right, guys. So that was a lot of work. Okay. We've done a lot. We have tag functionality support in application. I'm just going to hit pause and give you a moment to go through everything we've done. Okay. I'm going to catch you up in the next lesson.